Hi everybody, a quick Saturday morning post here. A little bit off the normal trend or normal tendencies. I'm not talking about, well, I might bring it up, but I'm not, this is not about life insurance. It's not about selling life insurance. It's not about any of those things. It's really about you. It's about us. It's about things that I'm really passionate about, which is, yes, that's right. All my life, my mother, like many of you, your mother told you the exact same thing over and over and over again, which was, hey, be a good little boy. Be a good little girl. Get good grades. Go to college. Find a good job with benefits. My mom told me that up until I, I was in my 40s. <laughs> That's a fact. You know, she was passionate about that. She wanted me to get a job in the hospital where she worked temporarily after my dad got sick in the laundry room and worked my way up. I, that just wasn't for me. I was more I wanted to own my income, own my life, and I, I wanted freedom, autonomy, and just liberty to do as I choose and not have my 9 to 5 drive my life. Told me to put away money for a retirement account and you'll be just fine. Folks, that charade is collapsing right under our noses. We've been played, we've been, we've been lied to, we've been led to believe that happiness and security were waiting for us if only we did as we were told. If only we followed the path laid out for us, we'd be okay. But here's the facts. Surveys show that one in three Americans have zero savings. Surveys show most Americans don't have even a thousand dollars in their savings account. I do this every day in my business, which is help people eliminate debt. So I'm I'm in the front row seat of watching what this current economy is doing to 88% of Americans right now that are in debt. Look, this may sound crazy, but surveys show that only 20% of Americans are free of debt and that number is reducing. Again, 88% of Americans are in debt. Credit card debt in this country has surpassed, for the first time, $1 trillion, and it's rising. Those are horrifying stats, but honestly, it's not surprising. Not when millions of students nationwide borrow as much as $40,000, $50,000 a year with a dream of getting a degree that's supposed to open doors for them only to see themselves having to go back to their parents' place because there just aren't enough jobs for their line of work. And worst of all, student loans are one of the only non-forgiven debts in this country. So even if you file bankruptcy, you can't have them wiped out. That can only happen with a government that wants to tax others to give money to those who don't want to pay their own debts. In order to forgive student loan debts, we have to use taxpayers' money. That means someone paying tax is paying your student debt loans. Uh, that's an unfortunate situation, but that's what's driving all this nonsense in this country right now. And if that wasn't enough, it seems like every decent paying job is either being replaced by automation through software or through robots, or it's being sent overseas so companies can save a few dollars on payroll. A new report from the McKinsey Global Institute that I was reading just yesterday, students are poorer than their parents, flat or falling incomes in advanced economies shows a drastic trend in declining incomes for middle-class workers. But that report found as much as 70% of households saw their earnings drop in the past decade. To put it bluntly, those who had been taught to expect that their wealth would grow as long as they obediently followed society's path of choice have learned that that promise is a lie. You know what? It's not your fault. We've all been played. But it's your responsibility to do something about it and guarantee that you and your family will not be played anymore. The first step is to embrace this truth and to understand the massive importance of the question I asked, which was, what's the biggest lie we've been fed by our government and ruling classes? Big dose of harsh reality here, because I'm going to give you the answer. And it will be tough pill to swallow if you don't already know it. This information and this industry, if you apply work to the dream, may just be what you need to transform your life. Because here's the problem. The middle class is dead. It's a myth. It's the biggest lie that we've been fed by the government and its ruling class, which is the middle class no longer is a safe place for you, your kids, or your spouse. The middle class is what you want to avoid, not participate in, not today. Today, you must seek game-changing opportunities that will get you out of the supposed comfort of the middle class. You must find a way to break free of barely making ends meet and falling further and further into crushing debt. And very few people will tell you the truth. 
The politicians can't. They cannot tell you the truth about the middle class because if they did, there would be revolts all across the country and it's beginning to become real. So what do I mean when I say middle class? I mean everything you've been told. College education, buying a home, 401ks, get a steady job, pensions. It's a lie. It's all a lie. What your mom and dad told you is a lie. Just look around. Look at your friends. Look at your neighbors. 74% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. And what do they all have in common? They all bought it. They all bought the lie. They all bought the idea that you can get a good education, get a good job, sit back and relax because you'll be okay, you'll be happy, you'll be taken care of, and that's just not true. Look, I'm not here to bring you the bad news on a Saturday morning. It's just something that I've been reading lately that really is something that I'm passionate about. I'm here to possibly bring you the solution. I spent over 40 years in the insurance industry. No, it's not been all roses. But to this date, I've never found another opportunity that for the price of an insurance license, 200 bucks, you can build a six to seven figure business. And it will provide you with three types of income in one opportunity. High commissions, residual income on some products, passive income if you start your own agency. You know, like those state farmer and farmers signs you see all over the street every five miles. They put a shingle out, put their name on it, and call it their own state farmer farmers agency. But they had to do it by paying $50,000 franchise fee. You, on the other hand, can do it anytime you want to for the cost of an insurance license. Here, like I said, we do it any time we wish. No franchise fee and no revenue share. Take a look at this industry. I challenge you to find another opportunity like it. Again, very little investment and you could become a millionaire and earn six to seven figures a year passive. But if it's not the insurance industry, because that's not what this video is about, seek out an opportunity that you're passionate about that you can control your income. By doing so, you can control your future. Happy Saturday, and God willing, if I'm still around, I'll see you next Wednesday on the next video. And before I go, do me a favor. You want to see this channel? You want to see more videos like this one? Some about insurance, but more about freedom, liberty, autonomy, owning your own income, owning your own life. That's what I'm passionate about way beyond the insurance industry. The insurance industry is just the best opportunity that I've found for the average person that doesn't have millions to invest in a franchise. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and send me a comment. and We can have a conversation if this industry is right for you. I'm grateful that you're here, and I hope this video returned to you the same amount of value that you placed in it by taking the time to watch it. See ya.